Hello there guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download Sweet FX for Star Wars Battlefront. I know there's like a lot of uh, you know tutorials out there but I felt like I wanted to make one. So let's get to it. Um, all the links will be down in the description if you need any. Okay so uh, what you're going to need is uh, of course Star Wars Battlefront. It's pretty necessary for this uh, tutorial. You're going to need Reshade, Sweet FX. I've already downloaded it. I'll have a link down in the description. And I just like having Sweet FX Ninja. Uh, it's not really necessary unless you want to like touch and <laughs> you know make different like change the settings and the Sweet FX. Otherwise, it's not necessary. But um, we're also going to need a preset. And like uh, you can go to this link. I'll also be down in the description. So uh, I'm just gonna take the real life mod. I bet some of you guys have seen that in the video uh, where like they use this um, preset. Where you just like download the preset and you get this folder uh, in a text document. My bad. Okay. So first of all, what I like to do is uh, rename this. Just remove all of these things and then just do like this so it's like sweet fx on uh, underscore settings okay so since this is a uh, zip files or whatever uh, we have to like extract them so you, if you when you've done that you'll have two folders on your desktop here uh, in those folders we're going to take the reshade one first we have Sweet FX, Eula, these two are like readme files, uh, the aims of use and stuff. And you shouldn't really mind with these. But like the thing you're going to need is reshade uh, setup. Double click that. Don't mind uh, my windows being in Danish. <laughs> so now I want you to select the game you want to play with. By the way, this is all safe. You don't get uh, any type of ban if you do this. Just in case you guys wonder. So to select the game, uh, you go to this PC, uh, wherever you downloaded uh, Origin. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of hard because like it's Danish. Okay, you go in here. I have it on my second disc, but some you probably have it on your local disc. Uh, to be honest, so I have my Origin folder in here, where say, I have Sims 3 because that's the fucking best game ever. We all know that. Um, Oh, we have the Star Wars Battlefront, and we need to find this uh, Star Wars Battlefront itself, which is an uh, EXE, as you see here. Well, open that, and we'll say auto detection fail. Please select. It's because you need Direct 3D 1011, and now it actually have like now, Sweet FX is downloaded, but uh, if you like go in here to your PC. And origin that was you'll see now there's sweet effects folders stuff like that um so now we can just press run and we'll open up with sweet effects but there's not really any good preset on yet it's just like the basic one so we want our sweet effects settings here i recommend you make a backup of the original sweet effects just in case um so you go into the sweet effects folder here you see these things this is what you're gonna make a backup of so copy that put it on the desktop oh wait don't do that yet <laughs> you just fuck things up make a folder call it like backup or something you can put this wherever you want you can also just not make a backup I just make one just to be, be sure of it so just copy that over there so now we're going to need the suite of Egg ninja which is right here Okay, so we got to load a file, which is this one we need here, desktop, and we have to find the sweet effect settings. And now we'll load up with all the settings from the real life mod, all of them, HDRR, Luma Sharpen, Left Gamma Gain, uh, the curves and all that stuff. And just for now, we're going to turn on split screen so we can like see the difference between the following one and like without and with sweet effects. Save the changes. Changes. And now we go to 
this PC, wherever you download it, and you go to your SweetFX folder, and you drop this one in here, and replace the file. There we go. So now, SweetFX should boot up with the the real life mod. Let's try to see if that works. By the way, you don't have to open through uh, Reshade every time. You can just open through the game. Now you'll say Reshade 1.1.1 break crosser, um, or whatever, all that things. So now you know SweetFX is downloaded. You can also like see difference already. This is where it like get interesting. Now we'll have a little lag because we're connecting. <laughs> so we can see it's already downloaded it because like when we look here we can see difference. So let's go into a mission. Uh, somewhere you can see DC. Let's go for that thing. Just for now. We don't have to look like drop we don't have to do a multiplayer. This is also still non bannable. You cannot get banned for using this in any way. I'm using it myself. I just felt like making a video about it. On scroll lock, you like to disable and enable it. Just in case you wanted to know. You figure all those things out yourself. So, you can pretty much already see that SweetFX is on. It's really much more bright and like nice looking. So yeah, like I myself, I uh, really like playing with sweet effects. This is not like causing me more lag uh, since it's only like changing colors and stuff. So just in case, holy shit. So you can see it's like really nice. Colors work, everything works. So yeah. So yeah, that's basically it. That's how you download SweetFX. Um I would just say thank you for watching and um I'll see you soon. Goodbye.